This video is about how to evaluate how the performance of a forecast changes with how far into the future we're trying to forecast, otherwise known as the forecast horizon. And we'll start where we wrapped up a couple of lessons ago uh, with our data all loaded and our forecast models made using our training data. And from there, we need to calculate the error in our forecast as a function of how far into the future we're trying to predict. And so to do that, we'll calculate our own root mean squared errors for each point in the forecast individually. And so we can call this root mean squared errors. And we'll set that equal to the square root of our predicted value, so that's ARIMA forecast dollar sign mean minus the observed value, so that's NDVI underscore test, and then we square that difference before we take the square root. And since there's only one value in each of these cases, we don't have to take a mean, though if there were multiple values, we could put the mean function there. Because this root mean squared errors object is a time series, we can then simply plot that object. And what we'll get out is the root mean squared error on the y as a function of the position in the time series, which is also how long our forecast horizon is because we fit it using data start that stopped right here. And we can see that in general for our ARIMA model, the degree of error gets larger and larger the farther out into the future we go. And if we want to also look at the seasonal ARIMA as well, we could add that to this plot using lines, uh, and then uh, we'll need the RMSEs for seasonal, which is, again, the square root of the ARIMA of the seasonal ARIMA forecast at mean, that's our predicted value, minus the observed value, which is NDVI test, squared. And so then for lines, we'll add RMSE season and set the color equal to something else. Uh, let's say blue. Not sure if I ran that line. And so uh, now we can see that there's a similar decrease in accuracy or increase in error uh, the further into the future the seasonal ARIMA model is forecasting, uh, but in general, it's more accurate, uh, especially outside of those uh, first few time points than the non-ARIMA model is. Uh, this is actually interesting, this difference down here because we wouldn't expect the seasonal ARIMA model to necessarily do better two, three, four months into the future because that seasonal signal isn't bringing anything new to the model. And so looking at how accuracy declines with forecast horizon can actually be informative uh, about model structure in general. So that's the idea behind how we look at decreased uh, forecast performance with forecast horizon. We calculate root mean squared errors for different distances into the future that we're trying to forecast and look to see uh, how the accuracy of our models changes.